Okay, um, I did a, a video where I was talking about doubts and fears. Here's an example from the Neville Goddard lecture where he tells a story, someone is telling him, the man is a therapist. I've, I have this story in some of my videos where I talk about um, a therapist uh, ends up curing a little girl based on curing the mother of her faulty thoughts about herself, which is manifesting in the poor health of the little girl. But this is um, a story of that therapist talking about um, how his own doubt about something manifested in his life, when, uh, for example, if he's looking for a house. So hopefully this, uh, this comes out okay. That for instance, in my own case, I find a home that I want. I begin to imagine that I'm living in that home, and then doubt sets in. With the result that that doubt materializes into a person. And that person has more money than I have, and he buys the home, leaving me out in the cold. I know from that experience that every person in my world only reflects a mood in me. Everyone that I meet, well, I know them or a stranger who buys the home that I wanted. When the doubt set in, the doubt materialized into a person. I didn't know him, but he only reflects that mood of doubt in me. So he has more money and he buys the home and I am out in the cold. So I reconstructed a sentence for this lady. Okay, so he was using that in his story about the lady, whatever. But anyway, what I wanted to zero in on here was what Neville was saying about in re retelling that story from the man who said, the mood in him, when he has doubts, you have doubts, you have fears, these these thoughts, you go with these straight thoughts, they can and will materialize in your 3D in various ways. And since everyone in your 3D is you pushed out, what happens? Someone comes in who, fill in the blank, buys the house out from under you, gets the job that you're going for, denies you the job that you're going for, you know, depending on who the person materializing is, uh, walks away with your significant other, you know, that you, that you want. The third party comes in, right? Because you're thinking you're not good enough. So it's going to materialize that you're not good enough. And you can put this into any situation in your life, no matter what, whether it's, you know, the acquisition of property, money, relationships, anything. So that is why it's important to not go with these feelings of doubt. You have no reason. An infinite being such as yourself has no reason to have doubt. Now, I know that's easier said than done because we're in this reality for the slice of time, which is our life here and now. And we've been we've conditioned ourselves to think of ourselves as less than we really are. So, of course, that's all part of the game we've been playing. It's kind of like this weird cosmic game where we, we convince ourselves we're not who we really are, and then we have these experiences. But the part of the game most of us are, are, are interested in playing now is the overcoming of those limitations and coming into ourselves who we really are in this 3D. Right? So you have to get rid of the doubts, the fears, the uncertainties, all of this stuff. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's actually a, 
an acronym, FUD, F-U-D, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. They use it in financial circles and other things. Uh, they use it for, uh, you know, corporations or other entities that like to spread misinformation about things to either lower the price or tank the stock price or whatever, uh, throwing shade on companies and their part, whatever. They call it FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But that, that's what we're talking about here, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Don't fall for the FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Don't go with it. Go with your affirmations on who you really are. Make that rock solid. Have faith. Have faith that that is who and what you really are and, and, and that what you desire is already yours and nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it except your own fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So I hope that this helps and this is useful. And I used Neville himself to illustrate that. I hope that this is well received, you know, by my subscribers or whoever else comes upon this video. So please like and subscribe. Please check out my other videos. And thank you. I'll see you in the next video.